Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of Photo Talk. Photo Talk is my new video series where I'm going to sit down and talk to you guys about some photo stuff. Um, today's video is going to be all about how I pose my models. I've gotten some questions on how I pose models in the past, so I decided I'm going to sit down and talk to you guys about how I posed my model for this shoot, my model in this shoot was Olivia and they did a great job so I decided that I'm gonna take a step back talk to you guys about my process about how I pose my models so without further ado let's roll that intro Hey guys, so the way this video is going to go, I'm just going to sit here and talk and explain my steps while inserting some b-roll and maybe some audio footage from an actual shoot. And the reason why I decided to do the video this way is because I don't want to not do you guys justice by not explaining my steps fully because when I'm in a shoot in the moment, my brain does not work the same way as I am sitting down right here and by that I mean that I have the tendency to miss a lot of small things and I don't want to try to focus on trying to get good shots for the model and then try to explain what I'm doing in a moment like it's just not gonna work inside here it's gonna like explode or something so I decided that it would be better if I just sat here and talked to you guys and explained my steps while inserting some b-roll from an actual shoot so you can see how my steps are played out and yeah so that's how this video is gonna go if you want to see that then just keep watching so my first step about how I pose my models this happens before you even get to the photo shoot before you even book a model honestly this is like the basis to every single photo shoot that I ever ever do it could be a last minute photo shoot it could be a photo shoot I planned years ago this is always the basis and it is a mood board always make sure you have a mood board before you do a shoot and I'll explain to you why so if you don't know what a mood board is it is exactly how it sounds a mood board so it's like a photo collage or a PDF document or something of the mood that you want to emulate during the photo shoot and so you can make mood boards totally different ways you could just have a photo collage you could have some words you can have some descriptions it's however you want to do it I will link the exact mood board for this shoot in the description below so you can see how I make mood boards I make my mood boards completely 100% off the template that Ben Sasso made and I will also link his website um, blog posts from my template in the below anyway so mood boards the way I make mood boards is I have multiple sections of the mood board and you will see if you click the link in the description um, there's a mood section there's like a wardrobe section there's a mop I mean there's a hair section there's a makeup se section and in these sections are just descriptions of what I want the shoot to be how I want the shoot to be done um, usually the top one the mood one is the most important I usually put a photo collage of mood inspiration images for the shoot about how I kind of want the shoot to go that's always at the top and at the top along with it are some description words but yeah that's just a base of how I always post my models I always re go back to my mood board throughout throughout my shoots the next thing I do during photo shoots is I make sure that I always fully communicate with my model exactly what I want to do so by how I do this is I usually just get up and pose I usually just get up and do exactly the pose I want them to do you might look really silly and that's kind of good because it's kind of a comedic relief so if you're not having like the most comfortable photo shoot sometimes photo shoots can be awkward if you've never worked with a model before it kind of eases the tone a little bit when you are able to get up and show the model what you want them to do always pick at yourself that's what I always do I'm always will do a pose and be like I mean you're gonna do it better than me I mean I'm not a model but this is what I want you to do this also just helps the model to visually see what you want sometimes words can deceive you and sometimes words are not easy <laughs> as you can see for me it's hard for me to fully explain this too because it's usually in my head and yeah anyway so it's better if you just get up and show the model exactly what you want and then from there you can adjust them so if you do a pose and they don't do it exactly the way you want it to you can always go back and readjust them but always make sure you ask your model for consent first before you touch them. Next thing I always have during photo shoots to help with posing is make sure that I have some example images. And this goes back to the mood board. So in the, my mood boards, I usually have a photo collage about maybe like six to eight images of how I want the shoot to go. 
images of inspiration of how I want this shoot to like kind of be emulated off of. And so what I do is I usually make the collage on my phone because I usually get the images from like Twitter or Instagram, usually Pinterest, but anywhere that I usually see a cool photo, I usually just screenshot it and save it to my phone. And then when it's time for shoots, I always make sure that I make a separate album in my iPhone. You can delete it afterwards, obviously. I put all the inspiration photos into that folder. So when I get to the shoot, if I reach a roadblock and I can't think of a pose to do, I just pull up the um, folder in my phone and we just look through some images that we can emulate. And this is also great if you are getting around a knoll and you just want the model to pick one. I do that a lot. I will give them my phone and say, here, flip through these images, pick one that you like, and we can kind of recreate it. It's just really helpful when you don't know what you want to do anymore, like if you run out of posing ideas or if you do have an exact pose that you want them to do and it's a little more intricate. Again, it's easier for them to visually see it and then replicate it. The next thing I always do during photo shoots is to make sure I get um, very interesting angles. Um, you will probably see that in my uh, behind the scenes videos from previous shoots. You will probably always see me laying on the ground. Just because, well for starters, because I use a 51.8 and it's kind of restricting, not very wide. But also because I like to get interesting angles. I like to um, push the box a little bit. Um, and I like to break up the shoot creatively but if it doesn't end up flattering you can just delete the photo you don't ever have to you don't have to use it you know it's just um, a good way to push your creative boundaries a little bit and try to get something more interesting so the last thing I do when it comes to posing my models I tell the model to do what's natural to them and that can like be an array of things depending on who your model is and their experience but I just let them do some things that they feel naturally naturally okay doing Honestly, I'll just tell you do whatever feels natural, so whatever poses you want. Go ahead. Cool. Okay. Just some targets are like do this and this. And yeah. This. No, I like I like my posing to be really natural. So whatever feels natural, whatever feels like fits into the setting. From there, you can just critique them and readjust them. I would also say don't be afraid to critique your models. I mean, obviously, constructively and politely. Um, when I first started out, I usually had this problem. I was afraid to tell the model, like, I don't like that pose. Um, but you kind of just have to tell your model, like, um, can you do this differently? Or um, how about we try this instead? Kind of just to redirect them. At photo shoots, it's a collaboration most of the time. So you mean, you they help you, you help them. So helping them critique their modeling skills will also help them in the long run because they can use these skills when they go into other photo shoots and yeah so that's exactly how I pose models I hope this video was not too like confusing I hope that the inserts really helped um, hone in on what I was trying to explain please don't hesitate if I didn't explain something really well just comment below and ask me to um specify a little bit more I have no problem doing that if you like this video give me a thumbs up leave me a comment below tell me what you think I will be trying to do more sit down talking videos with you guys so if you have any other suggestions leave them in the description below as well and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye